everybody, this is Chris from Cell Harmony. Today's video is not about mess that I have right now on my table, but uh, it's about using old or broken jewelry. And I was given a few pieces uh, yesterday and I've started playing with them and then, then I said, well, I maybe just do a regular video because I think it's really interesting. So I've thrown out a lot of things on my table and then yet not done. You could do much more with this, but that's just a, a little hint what you could do with. So I started to make some bookmarks, for example, with ribbon. And I have to admit that I don't have really large pieces of ribbons, so I couldn't do much bigger. They're quite... Uh, quite narrow, but you could use uh, this is this can be an idea to make book bookmarks You know you just take a piece of um, of Ribbon here and attach something on the end very easy. I'm going to show you one with you today so I've done different and Even if it's you know, it's broken pieces or sometimes old ones They don't look brand new, but it can still be useful for a few pieces and some of them might be interesting like here this woman gave me some um, a broken necklace she couldn't do anything with it and I just started to tear it apart like this very easy to do and you still can use um, this these pieces these hearts to do something with them so we're gonna play with this and I haven't done a lot yet because uh, I wanted to do them directly with you so let's see we can use them to put for example these we could uh, because I have enough uh, bring them into earrings. That could be some kind of idea with some um, uh, other beads on it. And I've got this, which I did this from. I took some pieces apart. And I thought also you could use these to make uh, barrettes to, for a change and not only bookmarks. Of course, you could put them into keychains. There's so many things. So we're just going to make a few of them today and I might do a little bit more. Uh, it's just to give you some ideas, not to throw things away. Sometimes you can find very interesting things. I was given also these uh, rings that I don't really like as rings. I'm never going to wear this. This is quite big, for example. I'm not really crazy about that, but I'm going to tear it apart and I'm going to show you how easy I think it should be. So let's give it a good... Yes, it's easy. So, um, the materials, I didn't talk about this, so it depends on what you want to do. You could use, as I said, some um, hair clips. Uh, you could use also, as bases, you could use some foam here. I've got pieces of foam, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. Uh, some jewelry findings, like here for earrings, and uh, some, some rings here to put on it. Um, also these little bits that are going to be useful if you want to do any kind of bookmark. You're going to pinch this inside here and I will show you how to use these. This is just a single earring that I found. And also I was given this uh, these two belts, I guess, but they're really too big. I can't use them as rings, as uh, belts, I mean. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to tear it apart and use these pieces here. Because as you can see, I can't use this part. It's really falling apart. I think it might be very interesting. So we're going to do just a few of them. And let's start, for example, by using um, as a bookmark. So I'm going to trim this piece here a little bit. Oh, I, I still need to continue with the materials needed. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about all these things. Uh, some hot glue. Also, some quick drying glue. And you might want to use as well uh, E6000. Uh, of course, you people from America, you know very well this glue. It's absolutely terrific. It's for me, it's absolutely the best because it bonds everything to everything, metal to metal, uh, wood, um, plastic, and for me, the te the top test is bonding glass to glass. This is the glue the the glue that is for me the best and it's really not that expensive if you can find this one just use it it's really really good you might want to couple this also with some hot glue because this needs to rest for at least 12 hours between 12 and 24 hours before using what you have glued so you might want to use this one and some hot glue because the hot glue is going to bond right now very quickly and then the, the E6000 will have more time to bond very well later on it can be very useful to use both and this uh, quick drying glue, like crazy glue, is also very useful for this project I'm going to show you right now. So let's try to clean this place a little bit. And 
this is maybe a bit too big. I'm going to take a smaller ribbon. Let me see. Um, but I think you'll understand the, how I'm doing it. This one might be good. Okay, so first what you need to do here is trim a little bit your ribbon to make it neat. So I'm going to just, just trim it there. Then you're going to use this little clasp. I don't know exactly what's the name of it. It's an end cap or something. Slide it in just like this. Okay. Then you're going to start, and I would at this point, especially if you put something heavy, I would first, oops, this is stuck inside. Okay. I would use some hot glue to make sure everything's going to stay in place first. Like I said, maybe it's a little bit heavy and you're want to you're going to want to do this a little bit. So a little bit of hot glue, of um, strong glue. Then you're going to pinch this, put it in in the middle. And first pinch it with your fingers like this. And then you're going to need some tools, jewelry tools if you have these and you're going to really pinch hard at the end here. And the glue is just going to secure it even better. So once you've done this, there's a little hole here where you can put a uh, a ring, whatever the size you want, depending on what you're going to put on the other side. And what I want to do here is probably use one of these hearts that I really think is nice. And these exist in a variety of colors. You can find these on the internet. And I've got a sachet here with different colors. You've got some silver, some gold, and some copper, old gold thing. So you can make any style you want depending on your findings. For example, I have this one here that would be some kind of antique gold that would be really nice to, to use for. So now I'm going to use one of these jump rings jump ring that's the name of it jump ring maybe I should do a little close-up again open this oh so for the those of you who have never done any jewelry you never open your jump ring like this but you always open it like this okay because otherwise if you open it and close it like this it's gonna make your jump ring very fragile and it might break over time so you put it there I could have used probably a smaller jump ring, but I think it's nicer to watch to, to see this if it's bigger on, on, on the camera. And then I'm just putting it back there. And there you have it. And then for the other side, you could just put another piece like this to stop your, um, your uh, ribbon from fraying, or you could do the exact same thing on the opposite side, the length you want, depending on the books you have. And that's fine. Just for now, I am going to um, probably just put another one here to stop it correctly. Oh, and I'm maybe not going to put glue this time. Just to make it quick. And then really squeeze hard here. And then can be something really nice as a bookmark, for example. Now we're going to make something different and I'm still going to use these two hearts because I like the way they are. So to make it quick, um, I'm maybe going to use also, or I don't know, they're a bit too big for me, I think. I've got these uh, beads, it's a bit too big. So I'm just going to leave it plain right now and I'll think about it later on. I don't want to make this video too long. And I'm going to use the same jump ring here. Or that's maybe a bit big, but anyway, let's say I'm going to use this one, open it again, and now what I want to use are these earring findings, put it there, and put my little heart, and close it. And then you've got a nice earring, see? And this was just given to me. Sometimes people give things to you when you know they know you're you're crafting. I do give lessons. I teach at, for adults and um, and and children. So very often mothers give me things like this. 
they don't know what to do with it they want to throw it away they say well we thought about you we're going to give it to you we are sure you're going to do something with it and sometimes they see it bad because that's the kind of thing we can do in our lessons and they just enjoy it so of course I would do both of these so that's another way to use your broken uh, jewelry um, I have here for example I was given these earrings which I don't really really like as is so I'm gonna take this earring finding away and anyway I'm not sure my ears would stand this kind of metal let me see I'm gonna open it this way and maybe what I could do oh wait a second I wanted to do something first uh, I had something kind of ready uh, where is it it's there okay first let me see I wanted to do uh, with one of the rings I had there and I think these two colors might be nice together so if you take a hair clip like this whatever the length or the size is I would cover this piece off because I don't really like it the way it is so I'm gonna use some foam here cut a piece of foam and what I like with foam is that you can stretch it a little bit if it's a little too small I'm going to first put some hot glue look at that hot glue everywhere I'm going to put some hot glue here and I've got a little too much here. I'm going to take this piece off here. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is put a little bit of um, quick drying glue, crazy glue on the sides there because things may not bond to my um, it's almost dry I think and then I'm gonna stick my foam piece here let me stretch it a little bit more put it there I would use really more of this glue because like I said on metal on unporous surfaces your hot glue may not stick very long and then when it's dry what I would do is just cut around here and you would probably do a better job home do make take more time with this okay but this just to give you some kind of idea once this is done I'm going to tear apart this ring again I don't know where I put the other piece oh there it is that's exactly what I wanted to do first and this is one I would use a little bit of hot glue and a little bit of E6000 I'm gonna put here on my table because it's really thick and I am going to use something here to grab my hot glue my uh, E6000 normally you would use a uh, toothpick for this and put it there be generous with this really really a lot because it's not completely flat in here so I want to fill up the crevices I've got here and I would put a little bit of hot glue as well here on the sides just to make it hold on right away so you see you can match mix and match the two of them and then stick it here on my um, hair clip on my barrette and of course I am going to use a little bit of bling I could leave it this way or just add a little bit more things to it here on the sides I'm gonna use some pink or purple I could have used both because sometimes you have some jewelry that you really liked very much and you don't feel like throwing it away so this is another way you could use um, 
your uh, your pieces and still continue to to wear them in a different way so there you have it you would make it nicer of course take your time doing this but that's another way to use broken pieces now what I'm going to show you after doing the ring uh, I haven't done any ring but you could I could put this one for example because there's just one piece here so again I'm going to tear it apart take this airing finding away there it is I'm going to cut this piece because I don't need it so I'm going to use this tool that is really good for it hold on just a second okay there I am I was looking for this tool so I'm just going to cut this piece here really easy <laughs> much easier than I thought and it's not completely flat but I think I like it it's like old-fashioned stuff so I've got some ring findings here that is totally flat and I am going to be able if I wanted to to stick this piece here because I like this green it's it's really nice it's like animal no not animal enamel enamel I think I like it I like big rings I just don't like these but I think I would like this one so again I'm going to use some E6000 let me see I need a little bit more there I am and again be generous here because it's metal with metal try to center it and let it dry without touching it or wearing it at least for 12 hours if you can make it 24 okay now what that could turn oh yes I wanted to use these because that's gonna be a very nice one um, let me see I need to take it apart again I think I'm gonna have to no I can open it let me see so this is really fun because you take things apart you can reuse them for other projects I need to do the same thing on the other part on the other side and maybe some of you I'm sure could use all these pieces as embellishments for mixed media Oops. So I like this piece. I think I could use it, for example, again as a bookmark. Um, I don't know, for a ring I can't really use it, but I could use it as earrings if I wanted to because there's at least two. I think I'm going to put this piece back on it because it's big enough to go on my um, keychain that I've got here. So let me put this one back on here here close it back yes that's nice it's a bit small for me so what I might do now is let me see I'm gonna use a piece of wire that I've got here and I am I have a lot of beads like this wooden beads I think that it would match perfectly this so I'm going to take a few colors here and I'm going to maybe put this one in here first I like this greenish yellowish color what else do I have here I think it's enough I've got some red I've got some yellow green pink I think I'm going to call it good then here I'm gonna need some round nose pliers let me see there I go and I'm gonna to have to make a loop so let me do a close-up again okay so in order to make a loop you're going to bend your wire you then I'm gonna bend it here almost at a 45 angle 
and then I am going to twist it back on itself and I've got my loop okay now that I've got my loop I should have kept it open a little bit more so I'm gonna open it and again I'm not going to open it this way I am going to open it here on the side and I have to zoom back a little bit because we're all gonna feel dizzy otherwise and I'm gonna put a jump ring here I need a jump ring close it now make sure it's really well closed or otherwise you're gonna you might lose your uh, your piece there really shut it close okay now open my jump ring I could have opened my jump ring directly but I didn't think about it first let me see I need this piece here I hope my jump ring is big enough it should be and close it shut there we go and then now I have a little piece like this as a little um, keychain and I could have done even more or changed the colors for something totally different maybe make it even bigger one it's just whatever it looks like it's just the way that how you can use things uh, your pieces of jewelry differently I was also given this um, which are I guess uh, in uh, resin and uh, I guess it's for telephone. I might use this maybe as earrings. I think that would be nice. Let me see. Oh, I just need to open this clasp. But I don't have two identical. So I can make different earrings. That wouldn't be a problem. Let's see what it would look like. And I've got my, drum, my uh, ring findings here. open it put this here I love making jewelry that's really fun to do especially with these pieces and there I have it I have a little fun earring with a piece of cake <laughs> I could do another one even if it's the colors are different I think it could also be very fun to do and I've got this one here that I put also into a uh, bookmark piece um, and that's just few examples I mean you could do so much but some people yes do some pieces of art or mixed media project I just wanted to give you a few examples of what you can do if you have broken jewelry home and sometimes we're sad about it because we like this piece of jewelry whatever it is uh, a necklace a, a bracelet and we can again use it not throwing everything apart not everything you can keep I mean this is really not really nice looking I think this one I'm gonna throw it away because the quality is not good but all these different pieces even rings can come and you could turn them into brooches I don't have the piece to glue it on it but you could change this one into a brooch so there you have it um, you can make rings you could turn them into pendants why not here I had a necklace that I turned into some uh, uh, bookmarks and the other one I turned it into where did I put it into earrings must be somewhere around here that's what I showed you in the beginning oh my goodness I really need to clean up this mess uh, where did it go I can't see it any longer but if you remember oh there it is let me separate everything so here earrings this was a earring that I changed into a ring then I made some bookmarks then I made some hair clips what else have I done and you could do the same thing here if it was smaller I am probably going to put this one into a barrette and put gray underneath that could look nice or maybe here yeah I would probably put it here so that's really fun ways to do things these pieces also in earrings and of course the keychain so don't throw things away if you can if it's, you still can use them you might find very other ways few other ways much more ways to use these <coughs> <coughs> so there you have it you've got different ways of reusing your jewelry pieces 
like here a hair beret hair clip I made a ring out of a knee ring I did a knee ring out of an old um, necklace here I'm not sure what it was in the beginning but I made some earrings I would do the the other pair here are some um, um, keychain bookmarks and I'm sure you could use this also into mixed media I, it would be very nice and then canvas with some paste around it so these are just few ideas and I'm gonna to have to do much more because I was given more pieces I just wanted to share this with you it could be very nice also on one of these hair clips I don't have the right color here but you could put the butterfly around there or make it dangle if you wanted to so so many things so don't throw if you're like me you don't throw things away or people give you things well think about a new way it's also very good for creativity to use and reuse things that you might really like and care about I hope this video was helpful for you please give me some thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and share this video thank you very much and see you soon